Let's turn it now to Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. He's on the phone this morning. Mr. Trump, good morning. Good to talk to you. Good morning. Well, I don't know if it's a distinction, but you have the sitting president, a Democrat, and a former president, Republican President Bush, both kind of going after you this week. And, and let me just reiterate what President Obama said. He says, this is not a talk show or reality. It's not promotion. It's not marketing. It's not a matter of pandering and getting yourself on the news. It's serious. Do you think that this is a hurdle for you, a liability, the fact that you were a reality show host? Do you think you're having to prove that you truly are serious? Well, I mean, unlike, you know, Jeb Bush, who's really, uh, look, you look at just what this guy, it's a sad thing how he's done. But unlike what he said, I built an incredible business worth many, many billions of dollars. I've won virtually every battle I've ever been in in business, and that's what people want. They, they see it. And, you know, the reality show, that was one thing I did, which became one of the, as you know, because it was on NBC, became one of the most successful shows on television. Do you think it undercuts your credibility? And I could have continued, and I could have continued doing it. NBC was begging me to continue to do it. But this is something much more important to me. And frankly, you know, my record in business has been phenomenal. I've built a great company. I've had tremendous success in what I'm doing right now. We have the biggest crowds, by far bigger than Bernie Sanders, by the way. He does have second, but bigger than Bernie Sanders. And we have a message, and the message is basically that we've got the worst president in the history of the United States, and he's done a terrible job, and we have a mess in our country between $19, $19 trillion in debt and all of the other problems. We can't beat ISIS. We have a border that's like Swiss cheese, as I said before. It's, uh, it's a, you know, we're a terribly run country, and we have a president that doesn't know what he's doing. So he can make the statement, and of course, I'm, you know, obviously his worst nightmare if I go in, but uh, he can make the statement. But people are tired, and they're angry, and they're fed up. Hey, Donald, it's Willie. Good morning. As I watched Hello, you in that debate on Saturday night, and I think a lot of people who watched you felt like it, sometimes they were watching a Democratic debate because of some of the positions you took criticizing George W. Bush on the Iraq War, on 9-11, even some praise for Planned Parenthood. There are conservatives, as you know, who have been suspicious of you all along that you're actually a progressive in many ways and have held those positions in the past. Did you give them more reason, Donald, to be suspicious with what you said on Saturday? No, I think I did very well. Every poll said that I won the debate, as you know. If you look at Drudge and if you look at Time magazine, they did polls and they said I won the debate. I'm pro-life. I have, you know, a great record of, of being a conservative. But I'm also a common-sense conservative, Willie, as we discussed before. I mean, you know, we have to do things with common sense. But certainly I'm the most conservative person there is on the border and on security and the military, on taking care of our vets who are taking, being taken care of horribly. I'm the most conservative person there is. Uh, we're going to end Obamacare, which is a disaster, by the way, a total and complete disaster. We're going to replace it with something much better and far less expensive. Uh, Common Core is an example. Uh, education through Washington is horrible. But we're going to end that. We're going to local education. I mean, I think I said most of these things. and. Frankly, uh, most people right. thought I won the debate. Right, Donald, that's fair enough. But your positions on George W. Bush, you would agree, are minority positions inside the Republican Party. Well, I'm, I'm, look, we should not have gone into the, you know, Iraq. I mean, it's, he was the president. He took us into Iraq. When you look at the migration, when you look at all of the problems in the Middle East, it all started by going into Iraq. And I'm honest, whether it's Republican or not Republican. I say common sense, but I'm honest. We made a horrible decision when we went into Iraq. I mean, it's as simple as that. Mr. Trump, can I ask you one question about uh, Ted Cruz? You've been saying for a while now, actually, that you have a question as to whether he's eligible under the Constitution to run for president because of his birth in Canada. You talk about a lawsuit. I guess my question, to use an old expression, why not put your money where your mouth is? If you, if you think there's an issue there, why not go ahead and sue if you think this is an important issue that needs to be clarified? Well, I may do that. I mean, he was born in Canada. He lived there for three or four years. He was there for a long time. He, he was, until 15 months ago, he was a citizen of Canada, joint with But us. you're saying you won't sue if he apologizes oh, no, I, for I attack may, ads. You know, no, no, I, I say I may very well do it. I may be doing him a big favor because, frankly, the Democrats are going to sue on that issue. There are many lawyers that say you have to be born on our soil. Have you had your lawyers research it and draw up the paperwork and take those steps forward? 
Well, we're going to take a look at that. We're looking at it. But, you know, Ted Cruz, is uh, he plays with the truth. He holds up the Bible, and then he lies. He's lied about a lot of things. Uh, he's lied about me having to do with the Second Amendment. I'm the strongest person on the stage on the Second Amendment. He said Donald Trump doesn't like the Second Amendment. I'm the strongest person on the stage on many things. And he'll say, Donald Trump, uh, this first since I'm pro-life. And he'll say, I'm not pro-life. He'll just say it. Now, he did the same thing with Ben Carson. He said Ben Carson is out of the race in Iowa. He said Ben Carson has left the race. He's out of the race. He's gone. Vote for Ted Cruz. Now, had he not done that, I probably would have won, number one. But more importantly, Ben Carson was treated horribly by, by what this guy did. Then after the election ended, he called up Ben Carson to apologize. What good does that do? And I don't think Ben Carson accepted the apology, and he shouldn't. Mm -hmm. But Ted Cruz is a very dishonest guy. I mean, Tom Coburn, your senator from uh, Oklahoma, highly respected man, said Ted Cruz is one of the most dishonest men he's ever seen or dealt with. And yet he talks about evangelical. That's why I'm leading in the evangelical vote, because they see he's a very dishonest person. Well, Mr. Trump, I know you have a lot to say. We appreciate your time this morning. Unfortunately, we are out of time, but thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks, Donald. Thank you very much. And by the way, Mr. Trump's going to hold a town hall tonight in Charleston. You can watch it on MSNBC. Starts at 8 o'clock. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.